hello and welcome in this video we will see how we can use our gmail account to send email from the 65 finance and operations you know we don't need any customer id or or any other smtp server to use in the 65 we can use our gmail id or any gmail id <coughs> uh, to send email from the of finance and operations it can be a workflow email or anything which you know gets sent from the 65 we can use any gmail id so let's see how we can do that first uh, i will say there is a documentation from gmail itself uh, you can go through this document i have added this document into the description of this video right and uh, in this session we will go through uh, you know how we can configure this in our gmail account say this is our my gmail id ramitpal417 gmail at the rate of gmail.com what i will do i will go to uh, let's say click on this manage your google account and then go to security and then under the signing under this uh, signing to google you will have one option called app password can if you have not set up this app password it will show you as none however there uh, you know there are some possibilities it app password will not be available for that you need to enable this two step verification okay it's just a two step verification don't need to bother about it you just need to follow the steps and on it and then this app password will be available now i have this uh, app password available i will click on this one and system will ask me for the password so i will give my gmail password there okay so and from here select app i will select maybe email and then i will select windows computer from this select device and then i will click on generate system will generate a app password like this i will remove this after this video so maybe you may not be able to use this uh, and then what i will do i will maybe go to uh, write down somewhere notepad right and then i will add my gmail account 417 and there it gmail.com and then i will copy and paste this password what i've got from app password and here is one change what you need to do from this smtp dot office dot office sixty five. From here, we need to change it to smtp dot gmail dot com, and everything will be same. SSL uh, TLS required to yes. Authentication is required to yes. Now it's done. Nothing more. You can now click on test connections. See, it is connected. From now on, you can send email or you can use this email id or you know i would say anything uh, which you need to test in your dev development environment or any environment uh, for workflow and all maybe for demo purpose you can use your email id i will maybe show you i have already sent all email from my id uh, rather i have used a different gmail id not for this so this one you see it has come from uh, the 65 for a workflow and workflow has sent this email id to the mailbox yeah i think now you will be able to understand and use your gmail id or any gmail id if you have this requirement thank you for watching stay tuned for another tips thanks goodbye